On to Taiwan, where the ruling Democratic Progressive Party, or DPP, faces an uphill battle in the upcoming local elections. Many of its supporters appear to have switched their backing to its main rival, the Kuomintang, and other parties. In the second part of a three-part series, Victoria Jen explores the growing discontent towards DPP over the slowing economy and escalating tensions across the Taiwan Strait. The strong support here for Kuomintang mayoral candidate Jiang Wan would have been unimaginable just months ago. That's because this area, Huanghe South Road Integrated Market in central Taipei, was considered to be a stronghold of the ruling Democratic Progressive Party. But today, Mr. Zhang is leading in the polls. Hey. Hey. Lin Shendong is one of his supporters. Like many others here, the 55-year-old has switched his support from the DPP as he's unhappy with the government's strong stance towards Beijing. In fact, the slowing economy is front and foremost in these vendors' minds. Insiders from the DPP have estimated that support for them in the area has gone down from 70 percent to less than 40 percent. And this could foretell woes at the polls for them across the island. Taiwanese political opinion tracker Daily View has projected that the KMT could win 15 out of 22 mayoral and county magistrate seats, while the ruling DPP could win just five. This as cross-strait relations grow increasingly tense. In early August, China launched its largest ever military exercises around the island, following U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit. The drill had made more than 70 percent Taiwanese feel that the chances of a military confrontation across the strait have increased considerably, according to a recent poll. The DPP's tactic of highlighting Beijing's threat proved successful in the 2020 presidential race when it won a landslide victory. But with cross-street tensions rising, analysts say such fiery rhetoric against Beijing could turn voters off. With tensions on the rise, Beijing has imposed trade sanctions against some agricultural, fishery and bakery products from Taiwan, raising concerns among the public. 大陆对于农渔业产品的这种封锁其实对选民来讲是非常大的一个打击 Taiwan's local elections are usually a chance for voters to show their dissatisfaction with the party in power. But with President Tsai Ing-wen required to step down at the end of her current term, the results could reshape the political landscape for 2024, when the presidential and legislative union elections will be held. Victoria Jen, CNA, Taipei.